Okay, so welcome, everybody, to Bird of the Day! Yay! I'm Carvis Twig, and I am joined again by my best bull, Bentar. Okay, should I call you Bentai or Bentar? Because you're like your Bentar VT on, uh... Yeah, I always forgot with Bentai, but, um... We'll, we'll do it this way. Am I in trouble? Bentar. How about Bentar. that? All right, Bentar. <laughs> oh, God, what did I do now? What's up, bro? Hey... Kale BJB, thanks for stopping in. We're about to do our bird of the day. So, um, I was actually looking through a thread called Cool Bird Pictures today, and I came across a picture of a bird, and I saw it, and I'm like, damn, that's a cool bird. It was you, right? No, yeah, it wasn't you. me. It wasn't me. Uh, it wasn't me. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, I look at that bird, and I'm like, you know what? That's going to be my bird of the day. And uh, so that bird that I saw was the racket-tailed tree pie. That's a very cool looking bird. Oh, they're beautiful. Wow. Look at that tail. That is a Dude, gorgeous the, the tail. Eye. And he has the big blue eyes yeah. and just kind of those iridescent feathers, the cool mm. black mask. Oh, racket-tailed cool. tree pie is a super cool bird. I really like him. So let me... Let me tell you what I've been able to find. So, uh, they're about uh, 13 inches long, but more than half of that is the tail. So, like, their actual body is going to be closer to, like, 6 inches long. And, uh, weigh about 4 to 5.1 ounces. So, you know, kind of average. Doing... Didn't get any information on wingspan. Couldn't find it. But as you can see there, they are a southeastern Asia bird mostly in you know vietnam laos thailand uh myanmar malaysia kind of those countries there the indonesian islands mm. and uh, i mean as you figured out it's like oh it's uh, it's okay it's, it's a perching bird got those nice perching things to the beak so it must be a passiform and then the family corvid it what what uh-huh this guy's that's a corvid there you are that's why you picked this the guy's a corvid mm -hmm. that's right folks uh tree pies are corvids. Their closest relatives in the corvid family are magpies. But uh, they are they are corvids. And so I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. I saw a picture of the bird. I didn't think it was a corvid. Then I uh, did a little research and I found out this thing's a... This guy's a corvid? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, um... Now here's the thing about these guys. Oh, I got a video. I got a video for him. It's a cool video. I'm gonna play a video. Hey, video. Okay, look at this bird. Oh. Yeah. They've got, uh... Described as not the most pleasant of calls. No. A little shrill. Well, a little shrill, harsh. Shrill, harsh. It's, yeah, yeah, you described it. Definitely unique, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, just, but I mean, their tail is obviously, and yeah, so smooth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, these, smooth uh, bird. these birds are well sanded with some fine grit sandpaper. Mm hmm That's a very smooth bird. And since they're a corvid, they're probably good at stealing things, so, um, you know, I guess they're a smooth criminal. Ow! But we're not playing that again. Okay. Um, so, I did run into a little bit of a problem researching these fellas. Hmm. And that problem is that there's really not a lot of information about these birds because they live in thick jungle areas mm -hmm. and there really just hasn't been a lot of research done on them. They're, you know, they, they've done enough that they've been able to get, you know, you know, so like the population, they don't know the exact population, but... Based off of observations, the population has stayed pretty stable, and okay. there seems to be a good abundance of them. But it's just that they live in areas that are so thick and wooded that you know study of them has been very difficult. So mm -hmm. they're pretty sure that they're doing fine. They're they're of least concern in dangerism wise, so they're doing okay. But we really don't know how many of them are. But we do know, as a corvid, they are omnivorous and opportunistic, and uh, when they are spotted. They're usually seen in flocks. They're, they're a social, social bird. Because, I mean, they're corvids. Of course they're social. 
you know, they got good family groups. It's what they are. So it's just like they, they have been seen to display a lot of the typical Corvid behavior. Although there hasn't been as much research as there's obviously been on crows and such. But, uh, you know, it's it's believed that they're intelligent uh, physiologically and with their brain size and the brain wrinkles and stuff. They're pretty sure these are pretty smart birds. But there just hasn't been the study to really know their true level of intelligence as there's been with so many other Corvids. And, uh... You know, a lot of that's just, just like you know, they're they're jungle birds. They they don't they don't live in suburbs and you know city areas like a lot of other corvids thrive in. They this is a bird that's pretty much only going to be seen out in wilderness areas. Uh, and uh, they like the bamboo forests. Bamboo forests are their favorite places, and then they build little bamboo little bamboo nests up in there. But they also like the thorny shrubs. Places are hard for other predators to get to. Now they uh. They are in a region of the world that, uh, you know, pretty tropical, pretty warm year-round. So they don't really have so much of a breeding season. It's not like, you know, birds that are further north that all like, hey, we're going to breed in the spring and do other stuff in the winter. Now, they all, they, they found bird nests with clutches almost year-round. Not, not so much during monsoon season, but, uh, you know, they could have a couple clutches per year. And it uh, could be anywhere, you know. Anywhere in that year, except when it's super, super rainy. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, they are pretty neat, pretty smart birds. Uh, they are very, very tree heavy. They don't like being on the ground. They have been found to go to the ground occasionally when it's wet to do, you know, do some bathing and puddles and stuff. But for the most time, they do all their hunting and foraging and sleeping and just hanging out up in the trees. They like it up in the tree. But I mean, also, it's just like, if you're up in a tree, you gotta be on a branch and show off that tail. Yeah. You gotta be like, hey, baby, look at this tail. Um, that you know, they, uh, they do a lot of, tail. in their mating displays, they wiggle those tails, they fan those tails out. You know, the tail definitely seems to be a very big part of uh, the male's display to be like, hey, baby, wanna make some babies? Yeah, that's how they do. That's how they do. Yeah, getting freaky yeah, all year that, round. Tail reminds me a lot of like, it's almost like I want to say like a video game kind of thing. Like the way it's just so segmented and defined. It's almost I know, unreal. right? Yeah, yeah, it's like the way that's like, a, yeah, that tail, that tail is crazy. It's hmm. just yeah, you're right. It looks yeah, <laughs> it's just like okay, we're gonna have these real long feathers here that go out like there, and then just yeah, the little segments and stuff. It's like it doesn't look natural. This bird is. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful bird. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, is a door burb around? Well, we may not have to. We, I may, I may have to give a door burb the bad news. Uh oh. Blue jays may not be the prettiest corvids anymore. Oh no. I might have to give it to these guys. I think these guys are prettier than blue jays. Well, as long as you bring to them easy, should be fine. I mean, it's just a, it's like okay, which 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 is prettier? Now here's the one that's on on the ground. This one was just seen bathing. So as you can see, when I get wet, uh, and not quite as smooth. <laughs> yeah, they look a bit more ruffled. A little, little bit more yeah, ruffled. Little, little. But yeah, this is the one that was on the ground and just got out of a bath. But still very pretty. But yeah, mm -hmm. I love how you know you notice it, especially when it's wet. They get a bit of more of that green iridescence showing through. It's very very yeah. pretty. Chocobo energy. Yeah, it's got chocobo energy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's just like whether you think blue jays or the racket-tailed uh, tree pie is prettier. I think that might just be something that comes down to personal preference. I think so. You know, yeah. beauty, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, after all. But obviously, you know, where do I rank this bird? I mean, come on, it's a corvid. It's right at the top of the bird hierarchy. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I just, I just really wish there was more information about them. I went to all my usual bird sources, and it was really hard to find info on these fellas. It's, it, I, I couldn't believe it. It's just, uh, it, and it just, you know, that's the way it is. Birds that live in remote regions of the world that are, you know, not uh, super well developed, you know, in jungles and stuff. Which, I mean, I think that's good. I hope that their territory stays that way. I hope they're able to continue to thrive in their current environments. And uh, I feel like the peoples of those areas do a good job in preserving their forests and their birds. They seem to be well-revered. I wish I knew a little bit more about them. 
but you know, there's a there's a lot of Corvids, a lot of Corvids, and uh, I wasn't even really expecting or you know planning on doing a Corvid today, but you know what? Why not? Why not? Right? It's not like I'm gonna run out of Corvids. There's hundreds the cool of species. Yeah. There's hundreds of species of Corvid. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, I'm just trying to think. It's like so. There's kind of groups of Corvids. So you've got tree pies and magpies done both of those. You know, we've obviously got the Corvus genus done a bunch of those. Um, now we got the jays. I've only done the blue jay, but there's a lot of different other kinds of jays. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the jays is the national bird of Canada. I think that's the that's not the scrub jay. It might be the gray jay or something like that. But we, we we brought it up at one point when we were talking about the, the Canadian geese. We actually brought that up. At yeah, some point. yeah. yeah. Um, but like, I haven't done an episode on rooks. I haven't mm -hmm. done any on nutcrackers. Uh, and I haven't done any on chuffs. So it's like, there's still some categories of uh, Corvid that uh, this bird still needs to do. But uh, this one, love them. Beautiful, beautiful birds. Love those tails. Really, the best advice I can give if you want to know more about them is just go on YouTube and type in racket-tailed uh, racket tree pie and you will find some pretty good videos. I just found one of the few that was short enough to throw in here. There's some good that are like over five minutes long, but I'm not going to play a five minute long video in the middle of the bird of the day. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Um, but anyway, I want to call this bird of the day done. Uh, so thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, if you're mm. watching on YouTube, smash that like and subscribe because um, it helps. It helps Please. make it so more people can see bird of the day. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go back to playing some more Fall Guys, which if you're watching on YouTube, yeah, that's why we have these Fall Guys things on us, because mm. we like the Fall Guys. Alright. Drink some water.